Alright guys, in this tutorial we are going to show how to use the terminal. So let's open up the terminal and let's start with some non commands. You can you have open terminal, open tab, new profile, um and a bunch of other commands. Let's start with changing the profile, right? Yep, and then you can change all of this stuff, but the main thing is colors. So if you want it to look different, uh, my favorite thing to do is to make it like a green color. Well, okay. Is that working? Okay, green. And background color, I prefer to have a black. And then, um, wait. So here I just picked green on black. You can do that too. And then I like it to have a little bit of transparency. Oh, right there. Um, so once you have it set up how you like, you can start entering commands. So let's start with some basics. Um, First is ls, which will list your um, directories and files depending on where you are. Um, let's see. If we go to now, I'll show you how to change um, directory. And change directory is cd for change stands for change directory, and let's change to the desktop directory if it'll let us oops and it is case sensitive uh, so there you see um, here it is um, in my case it says Spencer at Spencer's desktop and then this is the directory it says the tilde symbol here stands for home and then directory desktop if we do ls now we will see a file called terminal commands and you can see that right up here so that is true Whoops. Uh, to go back a directory or up to the previous directory you can do cd space dot dot and that will bring you back here and now you can see those same files um, another command would be nano which opens up a text editor um, you can mess with this some more, but you can type and then control X is exit, and I'm not going to save it. Uh, there's files like copy. If you want to move a file, you would copy it and then like file name dot whatever. Um, and then to wherever. I would actually show you, but I don't have any files. Uh, there's a lot of other people who show you this stuff, so if you need help, you can ask me and I can tell you the more detailed um, version. Uh, what else? Uh, clear will clear your com It'll just uh, move it down so you have more room to see. Uh, you can use the arrow keys to cycle through um, your previous commands. And, um, what else do we have? You can make a directory. So let's say I want to make a folder on my desktop. So we're going to go back to my desktop directory. And to make a folder, um, folders are also known as directories. So your the command is mkdir for make directory. Then you space, and then you'll name the directory. So let's call it test um, and then hit enter and then ls and now you can see there's terminal commands and test and terminal commands and test up here uh, next say um, I want to name a file that is more than one word and I want to make that a directory um, you say that and then I'm pretty sure you have to put it in quotations so like test for YouTube 
Oops. Oops. And then like that. And then you hit OK. And yep, there you go. Let's see if we try to do it like this. Without parentheses, I'm pretty sure it won't work. Yep. It 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 says test already um exists and it creates YouTube. Um I'm trying to remember the remove command. I think it's just RM Ah uh, dash R for directories, I think. And let's just try to get rid of the YouTube one. Yep. So RM dash R will remove a directory. Um if we go up here to text edit and let's just call this test one and then close it and save as oops desktop there you see that if we just do rm uh, and another here I can show you this now too if you start typing something and there is only one file or directory or whatever you're typing in this um, area you can hit tab and it'll finish it for you and uh, then we hit OK and that'll remove that so let's do Oops. see now it doesn't want to finish that for me but let's just do that and there you go uh, we can clear this again uh, and oh the like I mentioned copy you can also move files which are M is MV I'm pretty sure and then this will move a file to somewhere else or it will rename it so I'll show you the rename uh, function here and then you type it and then you space and I'm pretty sure you just have to type the new name so let's say we want to name it test1 oops maybe we don't need the dash r and there you go uh, MV test to test1 is created and then we can just remove it because I don't really want it And that's all for this one. And the next one, I'll show you how to download different programs and things using the terminal. Thanks for watching.